Previously on the show, we sailed to Vejen, where we explored the little village Kirkbacken and the beautiful area around it. Our second morning on the island started with sunshine again. And after breakfast, we got ready to leave. With the help from the bow thruster, we pushed the bow away from the pier and I held the fender in the aft since the wind was pushing the boat against the pier. We've left the harbour, we've left Vejen. Until next time, really beautiful place that we can recommend if you're passing by. Uh, we're heading back south, but we'll make a stop in Basebeck before we go back to Malmö. And we'll visit uh, Johan's parents tonight. And it's another great, great day. I think spring has finally arrived. Yeah! Yeah! Hey! So the plan for today is to try out our whisker poles, or one of them, for the first time. And there's a lot of lines <laughs> to sort out the first time you do this, because when you put it up, there's a lot of lines that needs to be in the correct position. So, and as always, when you do something for the first time on a new boat, and also with the new setup like this with the whisker poles, there's uh, yeah, you need to do some thinking first. We're doing around 2.5 knots of ground and we have uh, 3 to 4 knots of wind speed and there's a room for a lot of improvements. This took way too long time to do, too much effort to. So I guess I just have to think this through a bit. What's the best way to have all these lines and uh, How's it going? Good. Five and a half uh, nautical miles to uh, Basbeck. Someone likes the engine. <laughs> Feels great to be able to sit outside while we're out at sea and have lunch. Really nice. 
As we were approaching the harbor, we got the lines and fenders ready to moor. My parents came down to the harbour to welcome us, and after some coffee in the sun, we went to their house for dinner. Back in the harbour, we were met by a stunning sunset. Just a lovely morning and it has happened a lot here since we visited the last time. Spring has really arrived and uh, for today, well they say it's going to be 18 degrees to get today Celsius. So, And there are some wind but I'm not sure if it's going to last. Uh, we'll probably set sail for Malmö within an hour or so. Maybe we have lunch first. We both think Basbeck's Hamn is a lovely little village and it comes high on the list of places where we could see us settle down in the future. Baby snores. We just left the harbour, picking up the fenders and all the lines right now. And uh, right now we're just heading out in the sound because we have to round this uh, big shallow spot. Um, Kulona, the balls, as we told you about the last time. And then we will hoist sails. Um, yesterday the forecast said that we should have easterly winds, but it's from the opposite direction. It's from coming from the west. So I think we will. Uh, we should have a broad reach all the way to Malmö. Not a lot of wind today, but it's great sailing, nice weather, and we're not going very far. Only nine nautical miles today, back to Malmö. We're doing around five knots. We have a broad reach, and uh, 
Yeah, this Yenoa is really big. It's a 150% Yenoa. So it's kind of hard to get the sheeting angle correctly when you have the full Yenoa uh, out when you have a broad reach. So I rolled it up just a bit to make it easier to sail with this together with the main. Uh, I think it's the cut really, but I'm not sure. This works better because if I had a full you know, out, the back part was just uh, in lee of the, of the main. And this cloth is pretty heavy so and the wind is pretty light. So I guess when the wind is higher, it would have been okay, but today it's uh, really light conditions. So. Flying with the drone from the boat is always a challenge. Maybe not so much taking off, it's more the retrieval part that sometimes gets your heartbeat going. Flat water and light conditions like this is however a lot easier compared to flying offshore with big seas and higher winds. On our starboard side uh, in Denmark we have the big uh, airport of Copenhagen, Kastrup which is right here uh, by the water and there's a lot of traffic air traffic going on here because of that and it's there's nothing now it's so quiet we heard one one airplane yesterday but besides from that it's been quiet Weekend leftovers. Looking good. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Maybe a slice of lime. Could I have that, please? Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Hello, hello, hello. This weekend has been just perfect. Yeah, um, it was I mean, a perfect uh, sail uh, trip, sailing trip. Yeah, um, and now finally the the Swedish, the great summers we have up here in the north is looks like it has finally arrived. Well, this is what you're. Not summer yet. No, not summer but yet, but still, I mean, it's already pretty long evenings, yeah. and. Uh, that's what's so great about sailing up here, that you have the long evenings. So we just have a little, um, like an hour to go back to our home arena. Yeah. And then we have about two to three weeks uh, where we're gonna do the last few boat projects yeah. and then we will start our summer cruise. Yes, that will be super. Yeah. We can't wait to start sailing and we hope you're excited as well. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next week.